alerts are probably the most powerful of N2K View's features. It's like having a second mate on board 24-7, checking on possibly hundreds of values for you. When any of the monitored values goes out of range, either an alarm or warning will be raised and you will be notified. The alert bar at the bottom of every screen shows the highest priority alerts that need your attention. Alerts with a higher priority will display to the left of the bar, and if there are more alerts than can be displayed, the whole alert bar will flash. If you do not see this bar, then the optional N2K View Alerts module has not been licensed. Let's take a close look at the alerts bar. Here, two alerts are displayed. The first is a high bilge water alarm. We know that it is an alarm because the background of the control is red. Warnings show in yellow. This shows a high temperature warning from the engine room. If there is nothing in the alert bar, then you have no alerts and you can relax. Before we go any further, we need to understand what stages or states the system goes through as it detects an alert condition to the point that the alert condition is cleared. Most alerts will be inactive. This means that the value you are monitoring is within the normal operating range. Inactive alerts are not displayed in the alerts bar. If it goes outside the limits set when the alert was created, it then moves into the active state. At this point, N2K View will do everything it can to alert you to the problem. It will start flashing a control at the bottom of every page to draw your attention to the fact that something is wrong. If the alert has been configured to sound an enunciator or make a sound on the computer, then they will sound the alert. If you have another N2K View or a DSM-150 or DSM-250 display connected to the network, they will also be notified and start to flash. And even if you are off the boat, you can tell N2K View to send you an email or a text message directly to your phone. At this point, you are required to acknowledge the alert. You acknowledge the alert by pressing on the notification in the alert bar. By acknowledging it, you are telling N2K View that you know about the problem and intend to do something about it. N2K View will move the alert into the accepted state. Now the alert sounds will stop and the flashing on the alert bar changes to a steady red or yellow if it is a warning. At this point, you should take steps to investigate and fix the problem. When you fix it and the value returns to the normal operating range, the alert goes back to the inactive state and the notification is removed from the alert bar. However, if you take too long to get the problem fixed, the alert can go back into the active state to remind you that this problem has not been fixed. The other thing that can happen is that the problem goes away before you are able to acknowledge it. Maybe you are monitoring the depth of water under your keel and you pass over a shallow rock that triggers the alert. This will still be caught by the alert feature, the alert will still transition to the active state, and then it goes into a special awaiting cancel state. In the awaiting cancel state, the enunciators are silenced and the notification in the alert bar shows red text on a black background. This was important enough to raise an alert, and to cave you now, make sure that you know about it by leaving it in the alert bar until you click on it to acknowledge it and return it to the inactive state. There is another screen that will give more details about the alerts in the system. This is always the first of the favorite screens, so you show it by pressing on the screen and then choosing the Alerts tab from the list of favorite screens. Because this screen has more space than the alerts bar, it can show more detail. The alerts are presented in a table. The columns of the table show a button that can be pressed to acknowledge the alert. If there is no button in this column, then there is no user action to take at this time. In the table, we can see the following. The time at which the alert was raised. The current state of the alert. The source of the alert. This is which N2K view or DSM on the boat raised the alert. The current value of the parameter that the alert is monitoring. The priority of the alert. Lower numbers mean a higher priority, and the alert is displayed further left in the alert bar. The description of the alert, the location of the alert, and a brief explanation of the last action of the alert. By clicking on any of the titles of the columns of the table, you can reorder the table. 
Normally, only alerts that are not inactive are shown in the table. By clicking on the Show Inactive checkbox, you can also display the inactive alerts and they will be shown in a dark gray text. Having alerts correctly configured for your vessel will give you peace of mind that the critical systems required to operate your vessel are being monitored. Without needing to frequently check that your black water tank is about to overflow, or your engines are overheating, or you are drawing too much current from your generators. Thanks for watching this video. Please visit our website at www.miratron.com to learn more.